six. And we should see a song. We do see a song. All right, we're going to do A Mighty Fortress Is Our God in the key of G using the easy force trim pattern. Um, you'll see the chords at the bottom so you can see that we play G, C, D, E minor, B minor, and A minor. And there's lots of chords in this song. So um, this is a cream of the crop for the week. It's not intended for you to be able to play this extremely well just yet, um, but we want you to get the idea of the song and play it as best you can um, at your own tempo. Um, so we want you to become familiar with using your ear to learn these songs. Um, this is a 4-4 time pattern. It's a, it looks a little different in the way you read the music than um, in the past. And the deal is, is that you start the song on the fourth beat of the first measure. And so I'm just gonna count. I'm gonna count one, two, ready, and I'm gonna start singing on the fourth beat. And then I'll be in on the next measure with the chord. So I would say, um, we're on the key of G. Um, one, two, three. A mighty fortress. And that's how I start the song. So I, st I sing the first note, and then I'm in on the first beat right after that. Now, we play in 4-4 time, but you'll see um, on the uh, first line that there is actually a 2-4 measure, which means there's two beats in that measure. And that's basically, it gives us a little bit more time to play that G chord instead of just going straight into the 6th um, uh, measure and then the this, this C on the 7th measure. So, measure. so it gives us a measure of a little bit of a rest where we're staying in the same chord. Um, so I added that um, on purpose. So we're going to play four uh, beats per measure, and then when we get to that 2-4 measure, we're going to play two beats. And then we'll go back to the next line and play four beats. So um, that happens twice in the song. You'll see it in measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you'll see it in measures 10. Okay? Um, and you can see that first, uh, the first beat I was telling you about that's on the fourth beat, we don't count that as a full measure. So the first measure is actually starts on mighty. You can see A, mighty, and mighty is the first measure. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and that's how that works. So there's five measures on the first line. Now at the bottom, you'll see measures one, two, three have an ending um, that's different than measure four. Now measure one, two, and three actually have you repeat, and there's two little dots there um, right before um, a double bar. The two dots and the double bar means that you repeat every time. So you repeat and it looks like it says one, two, and three for the repeat. So that means the first, second, and third measure will repeat. And then the fourth measure, we will skip over that part and play the fourth uh, piece. It says four. So that means the for the first, second, and third time, you can see on measure 17 we play C to A minor, to E minor, to C, and the first, second, and third, fourth time, we'll go from C to D to G. Um, and then we'll do that 2-4 beat. So we'll count the two beats and we'll be back in at the top again um, on the G. Now, the last time we play it, which is the fourth time, we'll play that set major 17, C, A minor, E minor, C, and we'll skip the D, G, and the 2-4 beat, and we'll go straight to the 4, which says D to G. So we'll play just that one measure. There's no two beat intro there okay so we will start with that and we will play um, the G chord at the beginning um, and the 2-4 time on measure uh, one, two, three, five okay so let's try that it's it's easier than it sounds um, and there's a few that will switch in here in the middle of the measure and uh, but everything falls um, on a downbeat so if we're playing if we're playing um, C to G like we are in the second measure, we'll actually cut that uh, strum pattern right in half and it's gonna work great because we go C, two, and G, two, and. There's no, um, the first half of the, of the strum pattern is the same as the back half of the, of the strum pattern. So it shouldn't be too complicated to get that down. Okay, so let's play A Mighty Fortress Is Our God. We will just play the, uh, the first, uh, first measure and then you can listen to your audio for how it how the whole thing works. Okay, so let's play that together. One, two. I want to make sure I know the key and how to start. There it is. One, two, ready. Uh, one, two, ready. A mighty four. 
fortress. C major, back to G, two, and next measure, and then C, and then D, G. Now we're on this next line, one. So that's really fast. Um, so basically, uh, we are splitting the measure for the C and the G in the second measure, and then we're splitting the measure for the D and the G in the fourth measure. And then we have a measure of G for two beats, and then another measure of G with the next line. Okay? So um, it's gonna, we're going to do that, that uh, on, measure, on, on line, the second line where we do measure seven, we have C to G two times we do that. So let's do that. Um, we're going to try to go all the way through the second line all the way to, to measure 10. So let's try that. One, two, ready. A mighty fortress is our God. A bulwark C major never failing. Here's that two beat. One, two, and helper. measure 11 and we'll actually when we get to a measure 11 we'll play the D chord so let's play the um, let's start with uh, G of mortal ills prevailing and we'll go um, those two measures um, G and then G then C to G and then do that two four time and we're on to measure 11 let's try that one two three of mortal ills Still our ancient foe to three B minor. Seek to work us woe. Same thing, his craft, E minor. And power our grave. Three, four, C. Did we? And then we're on to the next measure. So, uh, from measure 11 through to measure 21, we have lots of changes. Um, we've got D to E minor in one measure, then we have D for a full measure, B minor to C in one measure, E minor for a full measure, E minor for the first half of that next measure, and then we switch to C for that, that the last half of that measure, then we do D for a full measure, C to A minor for a measure, E minor a full measure, C a full measure, and then D and G split a measure. And then we do that 2-4 beat, and then we're back in again at the top. So it's lots of changing. Um, this is not an easy song, but um, it's, a, it's a goal to get to. So work toward that, um, and that's the song for this week. So we've got two songs so far. We've got um, When I Survey the Wonders Cross, and a mighty fortress is our God, and we'll add some more as we get closer to the end of the book.